Hello everyone and welcome to Two Broke Guys where we talk about vintage items from the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. Today I'd like to talk to you about these really cool atomic dishes called Diamond Carousel by Marcress. They were designed by Alfred Duke in the 1960s. I think they look more 50s, but people say they're from the 60s. I don't suppose it matters too much. They were made by Stetson China Company, located in Lincoln, Illinois, and they were in business from 1919 to 1965. Some of the pieces are marked on the bottom with nest stone, and some are not, like the sugar and the creamer. They don't have a stamp which I don't know why they did that sometimes some of the lids look like this and some are solid blue I'm glad to have that although I don't have another piece that it goes on I still really liked it the person that designed these Alfred Dube he was a really phenomenal human being and I'd like to talk to you about him a little bit Nestone dinnerware was available in several different patterns and were marketed under the name Marcrest. Alfred Dube was born in 1923 and he lived for 85 years. He passed away in 2008. He was born May 3rd in Pilsen, Czechoslovakia. He was a 30 year resident of Las Vegas and prior to World War II, he graduated as a ceramic engineer. He moved from the ghetto to various concentration camps, including Buchenwald and Bergen-Belsen. He was the only survivor out of a 37 member family. All others were murdered during World War II. Pretty amazing, isn't it? After the war, he worked in the underground for an organization that facilitated the acquisition of passports for Jews to escape occupied territories and find passage to Palestine. He also became a model and the subject of a series of art pieces titled the Muscle Man, he probably looked very, and then it says skeleton on the side, I don't know, I need to look that up, by the artist David Feldman, Friedman, sorry. When he arrived in the United States with his wife and two-year-old daughter, he had only a total of 60 cents in his pocket, and then he worked as a pen setter in a bowling alley, while he learned English, one of the five languages he spoke. See, that's very interesting about that information because I always thought that this pattern reminded me of a, a vintage bowling alley. So I kind of wonder if this was inspired by his days working there as a pin setter. His career was very impressive. It included the following positions. Director of Designer and Research and General Manager of Stetson China Company. General Manager of Blue Mountain Pottery. Managing Director of Bevex Ceramic Tile Company. President of Canadian Pottery, National Sales Manager of Studa Ceram Incorporated, and Technical Director of Holland Brick and Tile Company. Michael Pratt, in his book, Mid-Century Modern Dinnerware, called Alfred Dube the father of modern dinnerware design. Dube also authored a book of his own called Where Was God? I'm sure it has a lot to do with his days in the concentration camps. You guys, these are not just merely dishes or old junk. These are not factory pieces made in China. These are works of art. They are pieces of history. This is Americana. Thank you for watching, Two Broke Guys, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you've liked it, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for more new videos of vintage items and info from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Thank you.